Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Conan Exiles. And as you can tell, I did do the armor thing that I said I was going to do off recording. So here we are. Got the uh, medium armor here that should help a lot with our ability to carry stuff. And speaking of which, need to make sure my water's topped off. Already made sure of my food. So now, I guess, we do what I said we were going to do. Just head towards this direction here. Just gonna mark it off with no real name on it. And away we go. I don't have enough iron to change out the skinning knife, so we'll just run with that. And I have the Namidian poniard still. So that's what we'll be running with. Although we won't be running with it equipped in my hand. Just easily swappable. And if we're using the river as not only a guide, but the path. Should be relatively safe with that maneuver. I say relatively as if that would be true. <laughs> it might. You never know. You never, you never know. Alright. You're making good time. Better than I expected. Honestly, a lot better than I expected. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't expect to be going underwater. There we go. What is that by the beach there? I want to say that's a bush. Probably is. It's hard to tell looking at it, honestly. <laughs> All right. Oh. There's people here. And they're fighting against a gigantic crocodile because that's not a good idea. <laughs> they just pretty much killed themselves trying to fight that thing. <laughs> there was no way they were going to survive. The hell were they thinking? Alright, we were making better time than I could have ever hoped. Now that crocodile seems to be more normal size, but I've never seen them go into the water that far before. Interesting. No, don't tell me. Narrow neck span and there's iron here? Oh, come on. You're kidding. Well, I'm already doing this trek. Might as well grab anything essential I can find. I just can't believe it was this close. Well, this close to the edge of the desert here. I can't believe it was that close. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, uh, well. Guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's say I should put that away from swimming. Even though I don't think it'll incur damage in water. It is iron. Water does accelerate rusting. Alright. That is a massive ass tree. Right there. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. This little area here. Kind of wish I'd started a home base over here. <laughs> Especially now knowing that iron was so close. But there wasn't a lot of it, so... Maybe my idea was more solid than I thought. Okay. Okay. 
keep on pushing along. I think it will be dark by the time I reach where we're going. And that's not good. <laughs> it's not necessarily bad, but it just means it'll take us longer to do the thing. I think that's a normal... Wait. Yeah, it is. Okay. Whoop. Ha ha! You missed. And... You're dead. Booyah. <laughs> Alright. Not too shabby. Okay, further we push, the more dangerous it'll get, so might as well have the bow out. As we get closer to the destination. But this is where it kind of gets fuzzy, because I don't remember exact locations. Also, there is... Huh. Hmm. Interesting. They look like they have a job. They... do not... I'm not sure if I should bother, honestly. Risk versus return might not be enough to justify it. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Oop, okay. I was correct. She was a tanner. She did have a job. Oops, so. Okay. And time to do a little bit of that. And back it up. Woo. And <laughs> done. Alright. Woo. It was kind of worth it. Cool. And not so much on him. Okay. At least taking out her was not so bad. She had good stuff. And as I predicted, it was going to get dark before I got over here. Crap. That's not what I was hoping for. Alright. That was a noise. Okay. Took it out. Just didn't expect uh didn't expect them this far in. Okay. Take the bow out again. And we're not there yet. We're getting there. I like how they're blue until I get closer and then they take on the green color texture they're supposed to have. Uh, that's fine. Uh, the fun pop-in shenanigans of Unreal. Well, hi there. I don't know what they were doing, but I wasn't going to let it finish. <laughs> Absolutely was not going to let it finish. Alright. It is a little fuzzy as to where exactly I'm supposed to go from here. I just know it's in this general area. Uh, 
get a nice view of the mountain from here, though. Well, volcano, technically. That's what all that is. Uh ah. Here we are. Now we have found the path. And a little bit of frame hitching, I noticed. There we go. It isn't there or there, but back there. Also, you know, that's a shale back, but I'm not sure which kind of shale back and if it'll like me or not. So, I'm not going to take that risk. I'm going to run over here. And now I'm absolutely going to have to wait until it's light out because this area is treacherous without visibility. Extremely. As you can see, there is a scorpion there, and there is a much worse. So, I'm going to wait until uh, morning comes, which should be a while. <laughs> the way the moon is moving. Oh, boy. Okay. It'll be a bit, but we will get there. Those shalebacks are trying to take on that scorpion. One of them's passed. And the shaleback is victorious. Just lost one of their own in the process. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Where's the moon now? Oh, come on. <laughs> be waiting so long. Okay. Might as well fast forward it. Alrighty. Now here we are. It's finally starting to light up enough that I could probably make this expedition. But I'm running a little low on water. So just to resist having to pull from my canteen, or sealed water skin technically, I shall drink from the river and go forward. As I've now basically been explaining it in the past because I've already done those things now scorpions are pretty easy to take care of or at least I think they are yep. not as easy as I thought yep, okay And two of them is a little annoying, but one is doable. All right, time to walk away. So wait for stamina to come back, and we're good. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I could get Ecor and Chitin out of them. Okay, maybe just Chitin. Still. Hey! Got some Ecor after all. Nice. Okay. Ecor is something I very much want. At least out of them. That's a big old tail. But I'm not thinking it's... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Oh. You remember those creatures in the uh, beginning of the game? The, the cutscene with Conan and the girl. Yeah, those are the things. And those things are tough. And I'd rather not fight them if I can avoid it. Woohoo. Those were probably the tales I was seeing, too. Hmm. Well, hi there. Yep, they're still there. Alright. And here we are to where we needed to go. And I'm hoping I can avoid any fights in the meantime. 
and yeah behind this is a barrier you cannot pass because your character will die yes they will die you will lose all your stuff and then you'll have to either run back here and hope you can get it without dying again or uh, you lose it permanently hello I'm just gonna sneak past them now bye bye Alrighty. And now we walk in here. And you notice the music getting a little more sinister. And the background noise a little more foreboding. And the subtle s noises and ambiance of a sandstorm. Interesting, isn't it? And here we have a man. Allegedly a sandstorm maniac. Petruso. A mad fool went wandering in a sandstorm. Eventually a man happened along and said, You mad fool, what are you doing in this sandstorm? The mad fool replied, Ahem. Your turn to talk, fool! Oh. <laughs> You're calling me the fool. Okay, that's fair. Singing sands. Stinging sands. Singing, stinging, ringing sands. Fighting sands. Biting sands. Fighting, biting, smiting sands! Exiled lands. Reptiles. Exiled reptile, defiled lands. Okay. So, this guy is legitimately crazy. At first glance. Seven prophets went to walking, bearing all their tricks. One was caught by Hanuman, and soon it was only six. Six prophets went a-climbing to get above the high. One was stung by locusts' wings, and then it were only five. Five prophets went a-crawling beneath the city floor. One went mad with power, and soon there were just four. Four prophets went a-dancing beneath the corpse fruit tree. One climbed up and stayed there, leaving just the three. Three prophets went to fighting through the pirate's crew. One became a mutineer, and soon there were just two. Two prophets went to wandering beneath the burning sun. One got lost in a sandstorm and left the other one. One prophet went to gathering the artifacts of yore. Put them all together and was never seen no more. They kind of clues you in into what may have gone on and what may have led to several different groups kind of populating this area. This is the best place to hear it, you know. Walking around the desert, listening to the sand whisper, just isn't good enough! Strains the ears, not to mention the mind. Perhaps that's why so many of you are mad fools, not right in the head from trying to listen to the silent sands. Here, here you can hear the sand 
shouting at you. When I stumbled into it the first time, all unaware, it simply whispered, Welcome home. So, that also makes you doubt everything you heard from him. Because he's clearly crazy. Or... The sandstorm is a living thing, summoned from the ether by foul sorceries, bound here by the same dark riches. It escaped the bonds of its masters eons ago, and knows nothing more than an ageless, nameless hunger. It seems to like me, though. You, not so much. <laughs> Well, considering I've only just met it, makes sense. But... I'm tired of conversing through this madman exile. I desire release from this plane of existence. Such is not within your power to grant without the Scourge Stone. The Scourge Stone was shattered when I was unleashed upon the world. Each piece was lost to time. As I sweep across the exiled lands, I seek the pieces that would provide my liberation. And yet, though I touch all, I do not find what I seek. They are locked away in caves where the howling sands cannot reach. Search the passage used by the Lemurians to wage war upon the one who unleashed me. Search the tomb of Galaman. He once boasted to his friends as they quivered, caught in my wind, of the lucky stone that would be buried alongside him. Search the eastern coastline, for the pirates whisper to one another of a stone that grants their captain wishes. Combine these pieces, exile. Recreate the scourge stone. Complete the archivist's ritual. Only then can I return whence I came. And there you have it. The Sandstorm is apparently a demonic entity that has been released upon the exiled lands by unnamed. The stone broke after this, and all the demon wants is to head back home. Can't do that. Because the stone is in pieces and not in a way that can be used to help him. So, we can do that. It'll take a while, but we can do that. And after another talk, singing sands, stinging basically goes sands. back to magic. Singing, stinging, ringing sands. And he'll just sit there talking. <laughs> just keep on talking as I walk away. <laughs> uh, at least I still get the subtitles. So at least I can still read what he's saying. Anyway. And there you have it, folks. There is a background story here. It will take a while to get to, but it is nonetheless here. And with that in mind, the first location of what he asked for is right here. And I get to remove this one. Cool. Now I can get out of here. And try to avoid these things. Because they can kill me quick. They can kill me real quick.
Some of you might want me to d demonstrate how quick. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I've already put enough effort into putting this whole thing together. There's no way I'm risking it just to show you how quickly they can kill me. Ooh, ooh, that's blinded. Oh my good gods, that is blinding. Whew. Ooh, my gods. I'm better off looking up at the sky and be less blinding that way. Oh my gods. I am sorry for the brightness on your screens. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that bright. My God. All right. Okay. Here we are. Back of the river. Get a little extra water in me. And we swim on back. So, what have we learned? We've learned that there's a madman sitting in that tomb there. But, they are also technically only mad because they're possessed by the demon who controls the, sand the sandstorm. Sandstorm. Pfft. Boy, So, the demon that controls the sandstorm wants to leave but can't because the scourge stone a powerful item that was apparently used to bring them into being is apparently a last ditch effort to survive by whoever controlled these lands years ago however many years is still uncertain Seems a couple thousand, at least. I lost a train of thought on that one. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You want to know why? Because we at least have the story ahead of us. <laughs> uh... I also lost the plot because I'm half asleep. My god. I did not expect to be awake at this hour, but here we are. And I figured, why not record? Didn't expect it to still be affecting me, but here we are. Anyway, so we now have a little inkling of not only where to go, but also... a little bit of why we need to do that. We're basically counteracting some of the evil magics that were cast in this land. What the what? Uh, that's a new one. Her boots. Hmm. And steel bars and thick leather. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Aha! Huh. I'm going to be completely honest. 
I've never seen that before. <laughs> that was a new one. But it was cool. Led me right to the chest. It had all that good stuff in it. Good stuff I wouldn't have gotten for at least another couple of episodes. <laughs> at least. Oh boy, it's going to take me a while to get home. <laughs> this track was going to take longer than I expected either way. But boy, did I not expect it to take this long. Heading back is going to be treacherous. At least without using the river all the time. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. It's fine. Alright. There we go. Fantastic. Keep on moving forward. That's all we can do. Hmm. This looks like a Defari camp right here. As well. Interesting. Okay. I, whoops, that was the wrong button. I meant to eat. There we go. And I don't need that feral flesh, so I'll toss that. Good. Alright. And we'll get some more of this while I'm passing by. Perfect. Ha! 76. Not bad. Not a bad haul. Alright. And the path is going to take a while. But we're going to get there. So, the next moves on the itinerary is finding... Well, hey! I think that... I think that one is actually closer to their capabilities. It might be a fair fight. Well, until I throw my hat in the ring. <laughs> and... on you. You got some iron. Interesting. You're a cook. Eh. Not really that good quality of cook. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. Didn't want the human flesh, but can't really avoid that all that much. So, away that goes, and away that goes. Yay! Leather for me. <laughs> That's the important part. Alright. About to say, I wasn't sure if there'd be a chest of loot over here or not. Doesn't look like it. Not that I need it or anything. It would just would have been nice, you know. Alright. And these guys won't be mad. I don't think it's till I hit that. Yep. I'm pretty sure those ones would be mad. Yep. Yep, these ones will be mad. Yeah, well. And this one will be mad. Okay. 
I don't know why, but it feels like I move faster. <laughs> With the bow unequipped. Is that probably true? Probably not. In fact, if anything, I probably move the exact same amount with it. Rather, the exact same speed. Really? <laughs> you still followed me this whole time. Wow. Didn't expect that. That's a new one. <laughs> and only one of them broke off the chase. Really? Okay. Oh, geez. And <laughs> all of them broken off chase. That was a new one. Gotta admit, that was a new one. Alright. Well, now I'm back. Can drop off more iron stone to smelt. Good. And... I don't know where I'm going to put that steel bar, because quite frankly, I wasn't expecting to get steel bar for a while. So I can put that away at least. Put that and that away. And I didn't expect to get ivory arrows either. But again, here we are. Um, last, the relic hunter. I was really not expecting that one. Not in the slightest. And the blue dye, I'll do something with it, I'm sure. Something will be decently made with it. Uh, right. Put that there. Put that there. And make all of that into leather. And make the chitin and fangs into bone meal. Oopsie. There we go. And we'll make a little bit more twine. Because why not? Not sure I need this much stone. But, whoop. That was just close up. That was the wrong button again. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I need that little stone either. There we go. I'll toss the rest of it, but... I can always get more stone. Stone is not an issue in the slightest. Okay. Alrighty. Well. We have done... A little... In regards to what the... Never seen that before. Well, <laughs> that was weird, but all right. sure the other one will be coming back soon but in the meantime <laughs> gotcha huh And she just wanders up. Like I didn't just kill her buddy. At all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I never wanted to be here. Yeah, same. <laughs> but here we are. Alright. Where did your buddy's body go? There he is. More stone. Well, should have expected that. Honestly, if I dropped stone, I was gonna get stone. From them, whether I wanted it or not. Okay. Well, we got the little inkling of story that's there. And the next 
path forward is over there. All the way over here. Presumably. I believe that's where one of the locations is. I've never actually gone. <laughs> so, this, this part will be new to me as well as to you. So, fun. But that will be in the future. Because right now we are a little under time, but I know I won't have enough time to make that trek. So I'm not even going to bother trying to entertain it as an idea. At least for this episode. So, in the meantime, I'm going to throw some of my extra in there. There we go. And we are getting a whole lot of compost here. A whole lot of compost. More than I expected we would, honestly. Not that I'm complaining. Alright. Oops. Oops. If I hit the right buttons. Alright, so the tannery's still going well. Not all that well. I need some more bark. Ran out. Fantastic. Uh, carpenter's bench. I can't make bark with it yet. Gah! That's annoying. So, away with the iron pick I go. But now, because it's with an iron pick, I have the chance to pick up resin. Resin being not necessarily terrible. But not something I need at the moment. Well, should have known that was going to happen. Whoop. Ow. There we go. All right. And as I collect more bark for my needs, I shall end the episode. Because, well, it's just going to be doing that for the foreseeable future. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. It's been the one the only stray cat playing games and now collecting more bark for all the leather I'm going to be needing to make. And trying, slowly but surely, to move our home base so that way we can get closer to those little bits of story content there are in this game. What we will find in the next location, I'm unsure. Because quite frankly, I've never done it. But I know there's something there, and I want to investigate it with you guys. And see if uh, what we get is anything close to cool. Personally, I think it probably will be. So we'll just work our way there. For you.